Ah, right, here we go. Pet parents. When did that start? When do we have to call? I mean, is it just? I, you can't I, say I, owner. You can't say owner. Well, I think we, we, we've given pets more autonomy than they used to have. Yeah, and, yeah. and you can, it's a generational divide. Right. I'm also not going to say fur baby, if you don't mind. You don't have to okay, say here, it. So Plenty of people we, will say it for you. So here we go. Now we now know what names pet owners are choosing most often this year. So one in three give their pet a human name like Lucy or Arthur. We, we had, we had, we had a Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> one in four Jeez. people. Cheap. One in four people name their pet after food like Meatball. I like that. Yep. Or Oreo. Others give their pet a traditional name like Fido or Fluffy. But veterinarian Roger Welton says... You got to pick a two syllable name like Buddy or Molly mm-hmm. because a name with one syllable like Rex or Max sounds too similar to a command like sit or stay. So, oh, and by, by the way, one more thing the number of cats named Oprah <laughs> in, <I> mean, <laughs> Why? Incre- increased 76% just last year. Not sure why. why. Nobody's sure why. why. I don't, why nobody's, you... Nobody knows why. Okay. I, mean, I, I hate to give the data without a reason. But I, that, I would love, look, if you have two cats, please name them Oprah and Gail. That's what I, that's <laughs> oh, what I want. <laughs> Um, All right, where were we? I, look, I think there's nothing funnier or cuter than a, an animal with a really human name. Uh, yes, you know, like there's something, there's something really funny. Like uh, this is this is Bernard, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a, it's yeah, like an English yeah, bulldog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that stuff. Yeah, uh, Set Bon Jovi. Yeah, it, that's <laughs> <laughs> why that's a name. <laughs> it is, yeah, okay. But like you know, Stevie. Stevie's a really fun Stevie's name for a, great a, for name. a dog. That's a great uh, name. But I, I like this trend. I think you know. I don't think we should. I mean, if, if it works for you, name your dog whatever you want. You can name your dog Meatball. You're going to call them like nine different permutations of that. It's going to be meaty. It's going to be ball. You yeah. have all these names. I mean, I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a rock and roll thing here, but, but Hendrix is a cool name for Hendrix a dog, Hendrix is too. a great name yeah, for yeah, a dog. Yeah, I know yeah, some yeah. kids named Hendrix. So yeah. I, love the, I love the crossover. Yeah, yeah. Let's give Gerard. I'm John Tesh. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of our daily life hacks.